on Sunday night. Tampa Bay looks to remain unbeaten at home and also do something they've never done, beat Seattle at home. Seahawks have never lost in Tampa Bay. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwood, CBS Sports with Charlie Casterly. Glad to be with you on the NFL previews presented by Comcast. And, uh, uh, Charlie, we talk about this every week and especially with Seattle. The West to East thing. Usually we talk about it with a 1 o'clock start. This is a night game. Does it make a difference here? Well, I think it makes a difference, but what makes a bigger difference is who's coming on that West East trip for the Seattle Seahawks and who plays quarterback. Matt Hasselbeck out of there, they're going to struggle. And Seneca Wallace, who is their backup quarterback, uh, possibility that he's going to go. He has yet to be named the starter here as we head the end of the week, heading into the weekend. If he can't go, it'll be Charlie Fry. Will it matter against this Tampa Bay defense? playing at home. No, I, I, first of all, Seattle is struggling with either quarterback in there, but Tampa Bay at home, they've been outstanding. They've forced nine turnovers at home. Uh, they've beaten three teams that are 500 or better at home. Under 250 yards rushing, uh, they've given up, and they have not given up a rushing touchdown, and that's what Seattle does best is run the football against a strength Tampa Bay. Seattle is going to have a, a real hard time running it, and we know they're going to have a hard time throwing it. A meanwhile, the quarterback for Tampa Bay, Jeff Garcia, started the season with Brian Greasy in the middle. Jeff Garcia was back last week. Moving forward, is he the guy that's right for this team? I think he is. I think the problem with Jeff Garcia is he did not have a good training camp. He was injured. He didn't play well. Uh, now he's healthy, and when he's healthy, what he can do is this. He can move around in the pocket. He creates plays. He extends the play, and he makes plays, and and that's what the guy can do. That's where he's better than uh, Greasy. He's gonna, he should be the quarterback the rest of the year, providing he's healthy. And what Tampa Bay has, like Seattle, is they also have a running game. But, uh, you know, if you didn't see this last week, Ernest Graham, uh, the starting tailback, he moved to fullback because of the injuries they had there. Warwick Dunn had over 100 yards in that game. He called it the most unselfish thing that he has ever seen on a football field. And people love Warwick Dunn. Is this a one-two punch that can really work moving forward? Warwick Dunn and Ernest Graham? Oh, I think it can. And it has. Warwick Dunn's been a surprise to me, really. Uh, I mean, this is something that I didn't see because, you know, Washington and Atlanta, you kind of thought maybe his career was over. But so far, it's not. You can see, I mean, the guy still has quickness and acceleration. Ernest Graham, uh, you know, a hard-running player, good instincts to him. This has been a good one-two punch. Uh, for them, and they want to run the football, but also that offensive line. That's come around. They've gotten better there over the last few years. That's become a, one of the strengths of their football team. And, and Tampa Bay has looked good, especially at home offensively. You mentioned the fact that they have uh, beaten all three of the teams that have come there by at least nine points, and all three of those teams have been 500 or better football teams. Seattle is not. Seattle is one and four and really struggling. Is this a game where Tampa Bay comes out quickly and puts Seattle down early? Well, I don't think Seattle, excuse me, I don't think Tampa Bay is going to score a lot of points, but I do think they are, uh, Tampa, uh, Seattle may not score any points in this football <laughs> game. So I, I think what will happen is over the course of the game, uh, Seattle is going to struggle to run, which is what they want to do. Uh, turnovers in the passing game, I, I'd hold my breath if I'm a Seattle fan watching that. And I think Tampa with Jeff Garcia moving the football, uh, with the run and pass balance, I think they're going to be fine there. I don't look for it to be a high-scoring game unless Seattle turns it over. Then it becomes a high-scoring game for Tampa Bay. All right, Sunday night, it begins at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. For more on this one or any other in Week 7, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Charlie Castle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.